Well, unfortunately, getting up this morning, uh, news didn't get much better in regards to uh, flooding in our area. Found out that the lake continued to rise overnight. And uh, many businesses along the Highway 61 Arrowhead Lane corridor, as well as homes, had uh, flood damage, or some homes actually were lost also. Here's the antique shop, the Lakeshore uh, Trading Post, along uh, Highway 61. Again, you can see that uh, water is way up, and they're probably experiencing quite a bit of damage already. Now you see the arena coming into view, which uh, was still dry uh, before I went to bed last night. Now it appears that uh, they've got flood water waters uh, seriously threatening their foundation. There's the Mercy Wellness Center that appears to be in harm's way also now. Hoffman's Ace Hardware, where a lot of people are buying what they need to combat the flood, uh, now that's threatened. And just as I was leaving the downtown area, they were closing Highway 61 uh, from the south by the bridge. And this is, uh, this is the uh, Rebel gas station, a self-service gas station. As you can well see, the pumps are now uh, starting to become underwater. And this is looking north down Arrowhead Lane. And of course, sandbagging efforts continue to go on, uh, even though they've uh, provided little resistance at this point. Uh, they're still looking for volunteers, so if you're available today, they sure could use your help to uh, do whatever they can to keep the floodwaters from getting much higher. Again, along uh, Arrowhead Lane, some of the businesses that you see. Some of the businesses starting to become threatened. Uh, and uh, looking south down Highway 61, here's Marketplace. You can see that this is the only real grocery store that we have in Moose Lake. And, of course, that seems to be somewhat threatened at this point. That would be a real disaster if we lost that. I'm told, too, that uh, a lot of the efforts going on are to keep the sewer systems in Moose Lake alive and well. And that they're actually threatened at this point, too. About 11 o'clock yesterday, Barnum sewer sister system gave out, so obviously that didn't help their situation at all. Many, many people lost homes in the Barnum area yesterday. Talked to a few of them this morning already. This is uh, Ron Ostrander, who lost a home in Barnum yesterday. Uh, we'll hear what he has to say. I just want to say that everybody in Barnum was great yesterday. The city workers tried really hard to keep the sewers up, but uh, unfortunately about 11 o'clock yesterday morning we had sewage coming four feet out of our drains in the shop and the house and everything is is basically destroyed and you know a lot of people lost everything in Barnum but all we can do, everybody's healthy, everybody's happy, you just try to get through it and start cleaning up the mess. Thanks again to everybody that helped. Perfect. Uh and you know of many others who lost homes there too? Well, yeah, yeah, my neighbors, Gene and Cheryl Eller, my heart goes out to them. They're, uh, Cheryl's worked on her beautiful flower gardens all spring there, three feet underwater. Their house is four feet deep. Butch Thompson's house is underwater. His shop is destroyed. Lou's diner uh, destroyed yesterday with water. And uh, Brett and Leslie, their Leslie's business and their house is underwater. You know, not. To, I mean, there's countless, countless people that are just, just in a world of hurt. But this is along a lakeshore drive along uh, the Moosehead Lake and Moose Lake, and you can see here another home uh, almost underwater, getting go uh, close to the windows on the home. There you see the Moose Lake Prison in the background on the other side of the lake. I think they're high enough where they're not feeling a real threat at this point. Right. This is uh, Uncle Jack Holverson who has uh, put on some waiters to take some pictures along the homes that have been uh, damaged or destroyed uh, just to kind of give you a dramatic view of what's going on. He's walking toward a mailbox that's just about submerged at this point. Hey, hang over this way a little bit so you stay on the driveway. Yeah, right on. Yeah. I won't fall over that way, man. Yeah. The edge of the mailbox is about 
As you can see, it's almost waist deep now. I believe it'll get chest deep for him here pretty soon. Nobody here can swim that far. So you're no. Hey, it was nice knowing you, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come get you if you fall in. Well, I don't. Th I don't think you need to go any further, Jack. Oh, I checked the mail. <laughs> your uh, your boat is tied up. Oh. Here, and again, you see some of the damage along the lake shore, and uh, actually the lake does continue to rise this morning. Here's an interesting shot. Uh, this is Teresa Cole. I'm not sure who the uh, passenger is, but uh, she's actually canoeing up the street, basically. Lake Shore Drive. I'd have to ask him if this is the mail service. Well, I'm going to walk around. Say, Jack? As Here's big as a, a tragedy and disaster as this is, it really seems like people have held their senses Jack. of humor and are taking it pretty well. Jack. But you know that uh, they've got to be hurting inside. Come get this picture. You've got some people canoeing up the street. I talked to Teresa shortly after this little canoe trip and told me, she told me uh, her mother had uh, water in her basement about halfway up and most everything. In her basement had been destroyed. They're actually canoeing to their home, Teresa's home, on the Lakeshore Drive. They've got a duplex uh, right along the lakeshore. How come you don't have your own? Yeah. And I think it's just plain dumb luck. They too are going to pull up along the uh, mailbox. Well, now it'll be easier to launch anyway. You can pass on the driveway. You open it. <laughs> oh, well, that's good enough. You put the brakes on. There we go. Now we got them both. <laughs> you can see you're checking Palmer's mail. There you go. Nothing in there. Nothing. And for, the you, for, for those of you not in the Moose Lake area, I'd only hope that you keep us in your hearts, minds, and, and prayers. This is... Uh, Completely unexpected and something that we thought would never happen to us. And we will uh, keep you posted.